Hello everyone, this is Noor Padgaukar from Techipadi. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a very very serious issue which is now going on in the news, everywhere, on the internet, etc. You might have heard of something called the touch disease. Yeah, that's right, the touch disease. It is hilarious that something like there is a problem in a touch screen, it's called a touch disease. When there are problems in Android phones, no one names them. But when it comes to iPhones, why do they name them? touch disease. So that's what we're going to talk about today and I'm also going to tell you what is the cause of it and what is the fix to this issue. So sit back and enjoy this video. Let's go. So first of all, we're going to answer one question. What is the touch disease? In layman's language, I would like to explain to you. Touch disease is basically a problem with your iPhone 6 and 6 Plus screens. Yeah, that's right. iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. iPhone 3G, iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5S, SE will not have this problem at all. This is the only problem with 6 and 6 Plus. If you are a 6 and a 6 Plus user, please do watch this video to know what you can do. So let's begin. There is a problem with the touch screen. That means there is a gray line which comes on top of your screen. It will be not just a gray line but a flickering gray line. You touch the screen and the gray line will keep on coming and going. Refer the screen what I am going to show you. You can see that there is a gray line on top of the screen that keeps flickering if you touch. What happens is due to that the touch screen becomes unresponsive. So basically, that's a huge problem because most of the tasks of iPhones are carried out using touch screens. Well, you will now wonder, so what? We'll get a screen replaced, we'll get a touchpad replaced. Guys, remember, this is not a touch screen or a touchpad problem. It is a problem of the touch IC, which I'm going to talk to you in the next clip. So basically, there are three causes for these touch ICs to go away from each other or to get broken from each other. The first reason is the bending of your iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Guys, you might have seen videos of iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, how they bend, the bend tests, many other techie people might have shown you. That's one of the reasons. And why? Suppose you keep your iPhone in the back pocket and you keep it there for a very 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 long time and then you take it out bent this is the reason that there can be some problem on this logical board that leads to the breaking of the chips the logical board two bends and these chips are broken so this is one of the cause for the touch ICs to be broken from each other the second cause is the protection of the IC chips. In the previous phones like the iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5S, 5SC, etc. They all have a metal protective covering on all these chips. So basically these chips are protected. In 6 Plus, they reduce the size. They try to bring a little bit of cost down. What have they done? If you see on the screen, that's a typical metal covering of an iPhone 5S. This also I have taken from ifixit.org videos. So this you can see how well protected they are. Now let me show you something. Well you can see this peeling off. Yeah that's right. That is the covering of these chips in iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Apple, what are you trying to do? Why are you doing this? Why are you cutting down this cost to make your phone unsafe? This can be one reason when these chips go bad and you get these problems. So one of the causes is bad protection for these chips. So the third cause what I'm going to talk about is something called as underfill. What is underfill? It is a basically a liquid. A thick liquid which is used to hold the little little solder balls of the chips 
on the logical board. Well, they are used in many of the smartphones, including the iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5S, etc. Shockingly, this has not been used in the 6 and the 6 Plus. This can be one reason due to which the chips might have come off the logical board and you have this problem of this touch screen disease. So there are fixes for that which I'm going to later discuss in the next clip. But before that, let us sum up the different causes of this. The first cause is the metal shielding on the chips which is not present. The second is the bending of the iPhone and the third is this underlying underfill. So hope you have got the major causes of this problem. Now we are going to see what is the possible fix for this. So guys, now I'm going to talk about the possible fixes for this problem. The number one, most of the people will try to do is press your phone. They will try and press it from all the sides so that all these touch IC chips stick back to the logical board. Guys, this is not a recommended fix. What will happen is, okay, yeah, this will happen and this problem will go away. What is the guarantee it will not come back again? It will surely do. This is a temporary fix. So, this is not a recommended fix. Also, there might be possibilities if you press the screen too hard, you can lead to damage of the internal parts also. Also, you can damage the screen also. So, it will be more expensive than replacing these touch IC chips. The basic fix, replace. Replace these touch IC chips. Go to Apple if your phone is in warranty and ask them to fix this problem by replacing these touch IC chips. First of all, they will tell you, you can opt for a new phone. Guys, do not take that option right now. Talk to them and ask them if they can do it. If yes, get it done. And if not, you can go down to any other electronic store and search for them whether they do this logical board fixing, these IC chips fixing and soldering etc. Guys remember one thing, do not do this on the current ICs. Do not solder on these current ICs, replace them. If you do it on the current ICs, this problem will be again a temporary fix and there is no guarantee that this problem will not come back again. So my recommendation, please replace these chips by going to them. Also, if you can ask them to put the underlying underfill under these chips so that this problem doesn't arise again and these chips stick firmly to the logical board. Also ask them if they can put that metal fix what I showed you of the iPhone 5s if they have it on this iPhone 6 and the 6 plus logical board. These are some fixes which I suggested. There might be other fixes which other people might do. So you can search for them too. But these are my recommendations. And also, yeah guys, do not opt for that option. Buy a new phone. If Apple, even if Apple suggests you, do not take that option. Come on guys, you pay so much for this phone. It's a beautiful phone and it turns out to be so bad, no one expects. So guys, this is all about the iPhone touch disease. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'm not sure you might have some idea about this eye touch disease or basically the iPhone touch disease. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you do not like this video, hit the dislike button. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. And please do subscribe to my channel Techie Paddy. Till then, see you next time in my next video.